Hi guys, I quickly wanted to talk about how to theft proof the X-Tang Solid Fold 2.0 a little bit. So overall it's a great cover. I have it here on a Ford F-150 2017 XLT with a 5.5 foot long bed. It's really great cover. It keeps everything dry inside. I actually recommend putting like a seal under that part here. So on my truck there's like about like two eighths of an inch gap and water will definitely come in there. So I bought this seal. It's a camper uh, seal for a truck. It's like Amazon 20 bucks. And I put about two layers of that under that and it's pretty water waterproof. So no water came in so far. The only thing that I don't like about the cover is that you can actually lift it up and look what's inside the truck bed. I'll demonstrate. And I have already tightened the screws, the clamps that came with it, but with bare hands and with not much pressure, I'm definitely able to look what's inside. Let me show you again. And I'm just going in there with my bare hands and I'm able to lift it up that far. I can definitely look what's inside, it's like bags in there or anything. And imagine if I go in there with a crowbar, I can even lift it up a little bit higher. So again, not much force needed. Um, I'm not saying you can break it open or something easily, but you can definitely see what's inside if it's worth breaking in. So that's the speed clamp, which is actually um, a good thing because you can like easily open the cover like that. But the thing is, um, and I put a light in here so you can see better, if I lift it up and I already have tightened the screws as some people have suggested on the internet, but it doesn't help. So you can still lift it up all the way. And again, peek inside to see what's in the truck bed. So what I did was I called the manufacturer, you can find the phone number on xtang.com and asked them about these jaw grip clamps. Um, I ordered, they sent me two, um, they call them in the description front clamp assembly and two of those are $25 shipped to California. Uh, however, be aware that uh, they told me that on the phone you're going to void your war warranty if you like replace the, fee the, the speed clamps with those. Um, let's do it anyway. So yeah, again, what we're going to do is we're going to replace the, uh, the easy or the speed clamps with a spring in there. Um, with, with these ones, with the solid ones that are in the front. So now to replace these um, clamps, I'm going to take out this plate with a screwdriver. Again, this is officially avoiding my warranty. I'm going to take it out, lift it up on that side. It's like in like that, so we'll lift it up. And we can basically just take that speed clamp out and put the jaw clamp in here. One thing now, when we move this in, I'm going to leave this plate off. Basically because when I want to flip this whole thing up to access like two-thirds of my truck bed I need to flip this over and fold it on top of that part here. The issue though is that the speed clamp is designed to fold pretty much flush in here which the uh, jaw clamp does not too much. So I assume that if I fold it up like that I will put a dent onto the top of the other side, which will be pretty ugly because it's on the outside and pretty visible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this plate off. So whenever I want to flip it up, I need to take this out and put it in my truck bed. Um, I know it's a little bit more complicated than just flipping the, the, the speed clamp over. Um, but on the other hand, I'm not doing it that often. So. I gotta live with it. So now that we have replaced both the clamps, I'm gonna flip the cover back over. Make sure the jaws in in the bed rail. So I'm tightening it up a little bit, but you know, actually not too much, just a little bit, because the cover needs to go a little bit up. It needs to be able to move a little bit when we close the tailgate. Again, I wouldn't put it in too tight because the cover needs to be able to move a little bit. So when we when we put in the when we close the tailgate, so it needs to be able to move a little bit up to accommodate the tailgate moving in. 
And the tailgate closes, opens and closes beautifully. No issues whatsoever. Again, I left a little bit of wiggle room here. I didn't tighten it down all the way, just to accommodate the tailgate swing closing in. So uh, let's look what, what happens. I cannot lift it up now. So maybe I can go under it with a crowbar and break the whole thing. Um, I don't know, probably if you want to get in, you can get in. But it's definitely no comparison to before. So I'm not able to lift it up to, lo to look inside. So <clears throat> that's, that's about it. So definitely a difference of like two or three inches that I was able to lift it up before with a speed clamp. So. I'm pretty happy with it. Again, it's got a void your warranty. You can get those clamps, those jaw, jaw grip clamps, when you call x -Tang. phone numbers on their website. And they're about $24, $25 shipped to California. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.